No broom. Hey guys, it's your girl Pascal, and we're back with another episode of Take My Money. Today, we'll be testing out a viral product that I've seen everywhere on Amazon and TikTok, and it is the LeBrew. Now, it's a two-in-one sweeper that comes with the vacuum. I've never heard of this product before. I've never actually seen something like this. So now we're gonna put it to the test in the studio because I see things that's been here since dinosaurs were on the earth, and we're gonna clean it up to see if this actually works. Let's test this out. And now we're gonna test different particles to see how well it works. So up first, we have the back of the studio. Right off the bat, I was surprised by the Varoom because I thought it would be a lot heavier considering the fact that it's a vacuum as well, but it was actually super lightweight, which made it easier to sweep. Now as the Varoom was cleaning the mess off the floor, clearly as the pieces got bigger, it got stuck, which led me to sticking my fingers through it. And on top of it, it doesn't really clean the whole thing. So now I'm cleaning the floor three or four times at this point. This clearly is a machine that takes a lot of patience, okay? Next up, we got some rice. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I think I had a little bit too much fun pouring this rice on the ground, because I got carried away. One huge major note is to always make sure that your mess is in a line, because that nozzle is kind of small, so just to make sure everything gets picked up in one sweep, I tried putting this all in the line to see if there's gonna be a huge difference. But as you can see, this time, it only took two times to clean this mess up. And last but not least, my favorite, goldfish. Now, if you have a toddler but not a dog, you know how annoying cleaning half-eaten snacks can be. So I definitely wanted to see if the Vabroom can actually pick up not only the debris, but the actual whole goldfish. And to my surprise, it actually sweeped it up. I mean, it took me four times to clean it, but the job was done. Now it's time for me to tell you guys the truth. Is the Vabroom worth $80? That's a no. Now, it does work for small amounts, which is a good thing, but if you have a big mess, it's going to take you a long time to clean up the whole thing. The nozzle is extremely small, so you'll be going in a zigzag just to make sure the whole mess is clean, and I don't think that it's worth it. Now, it does keep a lot in here, but it also falls out, so I don't think it's worth the $80. I promise you guys, save your money. So, uh, my pure rating for this, it's gonna be a 30 out of 100. We tried three different things and it works. If you wanna use it, you can go down below and order it. But I feel like a dust buster or a sweeper or a regular vacuum actually does the job that it needs to. So this is just unnecessary. So don't even waste your time. So if you enjoyed what you watched, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what trending product you guys wanna see next. I will see you guys next time. Bye.